find out where Stannis is chilling. Because he'll probably be up here somewhere. And I'm not actually, I'm pretty sure I'm not at war with Stannis. I'm pretty sure I'm just at war with Tywin. I mean, it is here somewhere. I literally just can't remember, bro. I look pretty epic in this armor. I'm not going to lie. Uh, no, it's quite cool that there's tips though. I'll probably read them when I'm not recording. Oh. That really annoyed me about the Siege of King's Landing. I literally, that was the only reason I joined up with them. And then they just go ahead and... Then they just go ahead and stop it and run away. Like, literally, <laughs> I don't want to be part of your army. Because you don't do anything. Let's go and attack the bandits. It'll be a pretty nice training mission for my men. And it'll be fairly easy. So we'll go ahead and hold up here. Everyone will hold up here. And we'll form we'll form a nice formation. Um Oh we can we not form up a nice formation? Apparently we can't. So I guess it's just a full out charge, men. For honor and glory. For wrath for ruin and the world's end. Let's go. I mean I oh, I really can't get over how cool this armor looks. The mod team have done a brilliant job with this armor. Oh my god, we've got some people on the roof. That's pretty cool. Let's dismount as well. And let's deal with them. Um, okay, that hurt. He's got nowhere to go now. Brilliant. I think what I can do with half the Stark... Oh, he just got a headshot. That was beautiful. You saw the blood come out of his head. I think what I'm planning on doing with the Stark men I just got, I think I'll upgrade them so all well, the men I can upgrade. I'll just upgrade them so that they can be horsemen and they'll be my knights. Even though obviously the Stark horses aren't the best horses in the game, I assume won't be the best horses in the game. They'll still look cool. And then I'll have the majority of the... Did I level up again or did we just win? I don't know. And then I'll have the majority of the infantry as like... Stormlands men, because they're kind of cool. Um, claim hall. Oh, my relationship has improved. Um, I don't think I really want anything from them. I just want to recruit some men, and that's literally all I want to do. I mean, my party should be able to get upgraded there. Here we go. Um, so I want to upgrade all of them. It's pretty gonna make me broke fairly soon. So this is like one of my elite, like most elite men. Yeah, the next upgrade is mounted men, which I don't obviously don't want. I guess I'll just have to leave them on that. Um, yeah, upgrade both of them. I need to level up. So I, yeah, I did level up, which is cool. And I also need to tour level up Cleave or Carver, even. He sounds very like Roman. Um, yeah, I actually would like to take a look at your equipment quickly as well. Because you can actually probably have some... Oh, you can't use that item yet, that's annoying. What's your best axe? This swing is 24. 27, that's a lot better. 24. 30, it's one-handed. Yeah, you can take that. 30 swing, that's a lot, nice, lot more damage. You can have this nice shield, that looks really cool. You can have that. I mean, I don't really want to give you a horse yet. Right, what's your best leg armor as well? Five. You can have my old armor as well. So Cleve's getting pretty suited out. He's getting very suited out. He doesn't actually have any gloves, but he does now. And he'll also have a spear. Why not? He has to keep his neat cleaver because that's just, you know, he talks about who he is. But he looks really cool now. He's only killed two people as well. What a noob. Um, okay, cool. So I need to level him up. So let's go ahead and hold up here. Um, let's do myself quickly. Let's go ahead and get up my charisma because I want to start boosting up my leadership. Even though I'm nowhere near my amount of troop lit at the moment. I just want to kind of boost it up now. Prison management might be a good idea to make a load of money. I mean, getting surgery is probably good as well. Just because it means that my men are more likely to live and not be get, like not get killed straight away. So let's go and talk to King Stannis. Hopefully he doesn't just straight up kill me. 
Oh, he, look, he looks really cool as well. I've come to offer you my sword in, in vassalage. Will he accept? Yeah, so I can't. So do I have to go talk to King's, King Rob himself? Yeah, I can do that. I mean, I can make Stannis like me. He is the one true king, of course. Uh, where is it? It's going to be somewhere like on Dragonstone or somewhere annoying. I bet you. Let's go and do this for King Stannis, just so, you know, he gets a bit of opinion for me. So, either, either way, doing this is a good idea. Because I'll either join Stannis, or, and then later on build my own kingdom. Or I will just build my own kingdom straight away off the bat. Which is, you know, again, a good idea to get good relations with other kings. Because if the other kings like me, then, you know, I'm more likely to be... Okay, it's just up here. That's, that's fine. I mean, Stannis... That's the good thing about having Stannis, like, where he is, is he's not really going to go far. He's going to be, like, assaulting these frontier cities. And then in his spare time, he's going to be just chilling around. Whereas with Rob, like... Whether Rob could be anywhere, like literally anywhere right now. But yeah, we'll go ahead and do this to Stannis. I feel like, you know, Stannis is really awesome. And we should, you know, help him out. Even if we are about to, you know, backstab him in the future and do our own thing. Just recruit some men in the first place. And then let's go ahead and look for this scoundrel. I'm not sure if anyone remembers, but in my previous Let's Play of this game, I was literally looking for this guy for about 20 straight minutes, and he was hiding in some barn. I'm not quite sure how I didn't see him, but my god, I was literally looking for so long. Um, I'm actually going to dismount, just look up. Actually, no, you can't get up there. Well, you can get up there, but he's not up there. I mean, that could be him. He could be up there as well. This city layout is really cool. But, whoa. <laughs> Let's just dismount quickly and have a quick look around. I think we're going to be fairly slow. I like how all the vill villagers have weapons now. Can you just, like, kill them? I wonder if you can. But kind of funny. Are you going to be, like, the village elder or something? I assume you are going to be the village elder. Normally, these these men which you have to kill, village elder, and you're just a hunter. Okay, I do not want to hire you. Um, I wish I'd give you more of a hint. Like, I'm sure that's not that hard to mod in. But then again, I guess the spawns of uh, the people you're trying to find are going to be random around the city. So it's not the same every time. But still, I wish they'd give you more of a hint. Even though I guess they aren't very hard to find. They're fairly easy. You just need to make sure you look everywhere. Everywhere. I mean, I'm not going to spend too much time. If I can't find him within like the next sweep of the city, I will just go ahead and do it off camera quickly. To make myself seem better at this game. I think it's him up there. I mean, there's a real good chance it is him up there. But I just want to double check around the city quickly. Okay, it's going to be this guy. Yeah, nervous man. So this one's not that hard to find, but like, I swear to God, the last guy was impossible to find. No problem, I just need your head anyway. Okay, are you going to fight me? Well, I feel kind of bad. Because I just slaughtered him. But either way, you know, justice has been done. So let's go back to Stannis, let's find him, and let's go ahead and give him... What he deserves. And we are again recruiting a decent sized force. <laughs> I might. What I might do is. I might. Because I need. After doing this, handing him this quest, I need to go up and talk to Rob and tell him that I don't want to be in his services anymore. He should be like, cool. And then I should, um, yeah, then I should be free, which would be nice. Stannis, where are you? Let's go ahead and ask this dude where Stannis is. Hey, dude, what's up? I wish to ask you something. K 
King Stannis. He should be by Rosebury at the moment. Lovely. Rosebury. Where even is Rosebury? Rosebury down here. Cool. Is he moving to King's Landing? Probably not. I'm, I'm still literally kind of annoyed that... Freaking White Harbour took their men away from King's Landing. I guess actually no, it was the... It was the uh, steward who did it. Or the marshal even, who decided to take his men away. That still annoyed me though. Hello Stannis with your 340 men, Jesus Christ. Uh, my lord, I have come to know about the task. So I gained some honour for denying the money. I don't need the money at the moment. And Stannis likes me a little bit more. Okay, this is a really good one to do. Because this just gets you a load of money. Because Stannis, like, well, it's not just Stannis individually. But you get like a load of money from this. I want to find out what his skills are though. Okay, it's not even that impressive. I mean, I think all like great people, leadership wise, are set at 10. I mean, his tactics are pretty good. Iron Flesh Power Strike are pretty normal. Athletic and Riding are good. His training is amazing. Okay, yeah, he's pretty good. His prison management and all of these, I guess, just make him really deadly. I must beg my leave. So is there a time limit on this quest? Yeah, I have 50 days. So let's go ahead and just do this first quickly. So let's go to Dragonstone all the way over here. Oh, hopefully it's not a keep either. Because if it's not a keep, then it means I can go ahead and sell my stuff there. But I have a feeling it is, which is kind of unfortunate. The gods will be good to us, and we receive a load of morale for that. That's pretty nice. Um, let's go ahead and collect the taxes for Stannis. Actually, yeah, let's, let's first off, let's go ahead and sell all our stuff. I feel like that's a, that's a good idea. Sell all this crap we have in our inventory. Did I sell anything good? Just want to make sure I didn't sell like an amazing sword or anything. By the looks of it, no, I didn't. So how good is our sword? Our sword's an arming sword. 32 and 29. I can't quite afford these amazing swords yet. We could afford that, but it's no my sword's even my sword's better than that. I might actually get a crossbow like fairly soon. I'm pretty sure we can't wield it. Oh yeah, we can wield it. Oh uh, yeah, I might actually get a crossbow in a bit. Like not right now. I don't think I want to do that right now. But in the future, I feel like getting a crossbow would be pretty cool. Especially for when we start taking like provinces and stuff. I also need to get a spear as well. That's something I actually really need to do. I mean, I don't need to look at armor for some time. Oh, that looks so cool. We have to get that armor at some point. When, we have, when we're when we rich and have our own kingdom. Just having that armor will just be epic. Uh, I mean, I don't really need anything from here at all. Yeah, we don't need that at all. Um, was I going to get any goods? I was going to try and get try and get a bit more grain, I think. Because we are running... Actually, we're not running low at all. But we could just take some bread. Because we don't look like they have any grain. Oh, you have spices. Yeah, that's good for me. Let's go ahead and collect for taxes now. And because it's such a big place as well... Yeah, look how much money we're getting each time. This is literally one of the best quests. Um... Ignore them. If they want to rebel, we'll slaughter them, so it's fine. I doubt there'll be a lot of them anyway. Like, one, they'll just be peasants, and two, there could be a lot of them because it's such a big city, but I highly doubt it. Look at all this money. It's just crazy because it's such a big city. They just pay so much. Like, if I was to do this to a village, they'd be giving me, like, ten each time. But luckily, because it's not, I'm getting banked. I'd actually lose some money because of my wages. Yeah, by the looks of it. Oh no, the mercenaries gave me some money. Okay, the North, the North gave me a lot of money. Like a lot of money. They pretty much almost paid for me. Paid for my entire party. Which is kind of surprising. 
I was not expecting that. I'd expect to get like a couple hundred. I guess because my, my men are a lot better now. So we, we got eight grand from from here, which is just crazy good. Um, he is not in Dragonstone, is he? Ah, oh, he is. How convenient. Let's go to the castle. Let's get a beautiful old Dragonstone. It looks, this armor looks really epic when I don't have the, the helmet on. I'm not going to lie. Hello, Stannis. How you doing? How you doing, Doug? Lovely, and he gave me... Yeah, so he gave me about 1600, which is lovely. Let's talk to Miss Scylla quickly as well. Okay, I don't know quite what that does. You can actually, like, become like chosen by Relor, I, I assume that's what that means or at least start following religion I'm not quite sure what that does so I don't want to go ahead and click it um, in case it messes something up but you know if, if you guys know in the comments please do go ahead and tell me that would be kind of cool to find out what that does and if it is something worth doing so just seeing if there's anything under siege which it does not oh here we go Rosbury hopefully the Northmen are besieging it and then that will mean that I actually stay you really want to fight me? Like, some raiders? No, Stannis. Stannis is having all the fun, whereas the Northmen are just doing nothing. I'll fight you, raiders. Come on. Let's go. You wanted to fight a second ago. Okay, there's only 14 of them, which is kind of confusing why they want to fight, but it's free experience, really. Improves him like the, s the skill of our men. Oh, there he is. He looks so cool. And he's even got our my own sigil on it as well. That looks really cool. Oh, it's a Dornishman. Why the hell do I have a Dornishman in my army? I do not remember that. Okay, oh, shit. We should really form up. Um. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted to do. We're forming ranks. Even though that's not what I wanted to do. If we lose any men, that's completely my fault for looking at the Dornishmen. But by the looks of it, we're not going to. We absolutely slaughtered them. Them North Pikemen as well look pretty epic. And then their other men are just charging at us. For whatever reason, they've actually, like, all the, the enemy archers have, like, glitched out when they're fighting me. Well, they haven't seemed to glitch out. But some of them like seem to just always be shooting and none of them actually do shoot. Some of these outlaws are fairly armoured as well, like him. He's someone we want to kill straight away. Come on, fight me. You want to get that man slaughtered fairly quickly before he does damage to that massive maze. Come on, let's get him. Look how much damage he's taking as well, he's not going down. Well, he did, he's down now, which is all that matters. Just one guy left running away. Oh, we got him, lovely. Well done, Mem. Okay, the Stormland Sergeants do actually have my sigil on them now, so they look a lot cooler. So we just have to focus on getting as many men possible to that. Okay, I don't want any of these Westerland men. Don't want that scum. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade them all. And if anyone wants to know, I think a lot of people do know how to do that. Is you just press control, and they do go ahead and uh, just do all of them. So Cleve did actually get injured, um, so we can't actually talk to him, which is unfortunate. So yeah, the next task I guess is to go up and find Rob and tell him we want no more of his mercenary ship. So I'm pretty just going to go ahead and speed this part up just because we have to go all the way up to Winterfell and it's going to take forever to do so. Where even are we? I need to make sure I'm on the lookout as well. Because I don't want to go past him on the way. 
But look how far away it is. Oh my god, it's so far. It would actually be a really nice place to try and hold because Moat Kalen is legit like the only way into the north. So if you, if like I for whatever reason took all of this, I'd have to go through Mount Kalen, Moat Kalen, to do anything. <laughs> I don't know why these people feel like they have a good advantage when we outnumber them heavily. It is dark, so I'm just going to let my men form up quickly. Even though we don't really need to form up because we just have like so many more men. I'm kind of confused on why the enemy thinks it's a good idea to engage us. But they do. Oh, actually, yeah, I should really turn off the difficulty. I realised this because it reset, because it was on uh, normal everything. I'm not quite sure why. Um, actually, no. I'm pretty sure we'll leave that on average. I think campaign AI just gives them some stupid, like, advantages or something. Um, yeah, so stick everything else on normal. That's what it should be. That's what it has been on, but um, because I had to reinstall the game the other day, um, it obviously reset it all. Oh yeah, I got my archers now to think about as well. No, that's cavalry. Archers here, me. Hold position here. Where even are they? They are coming, they're just a really long way away. Yeah, let's go and greet them a little bit. Are they just like all archers? Because if they are, that's just stupid. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and run back a little bit. I don't want to get too caught out, especially because my horse is awful. If my horse gets killed, then I'm pretty screwed. In the future, this is going to be like a really nice, like... These battlefields are going to be really nice, because I can just have my archers up on like a hill like this, with like my shield wall there, like, so I would obviously um, have my archers here. And then my infantry would just be chilling in the front. I mean, I'd, I'd be having my cavalry to follow me. I like how they're falling back as well while shooting. That's kind of cool. I need to be a little bit careful because I don't want to die. Like so. Okay. Now it's a long run back. But I can kill. There's only two of them. Okay, lovely. Now let's hide behind this tree and tell my inventory to run because by the looks of it, their enemy are not going to go ahead and advance on us, so we might as well just advance on them. Actually, I'm going to be really safe. I'm just literally just going to hide behind the tree. And let... Actually, no. Fuck it. What, one hit and we're dead, but... I think it's fine. I don't think we should die here. Yeah, our inventory should easily overwhelm the enemy. Yeah, that's lovely. They didn't really stand a chance. I'm not even sure, quite sure why they actually engaged us, but they did. Let's go ahead and access the pool, just get the important stuff, which we can actually sell and make a bit of money from. And then leave. Um, I actually want to talk to one of the lords here. Because I actually want to find out where Rob is so I can actually leave. Uh, where is Rob? Rob's at the crossing on at Long Sister at the moment. I uh, actually do see all them bandits as well. So Rob's here at Long Sister? Am I right in it did say long sister, I'm pretty sure. Let's go ahead and just talk to him quickly again. Just to make sure, because make sure, I don't want to be going in the wrong direction. Rob Stark is travelling to Winterfell. He should be between the crossing and long sister at the moment. So he's coming all the way back to the north. I swear to like the long sister's like, going to be around here somewhere. I don't know, but well, we just have to wait at Winterfell, basically. Which is what I'm going to do. Even though all these bandits... Who actually would be a pretty cool battle to fight all of these bandits. How many are there? 
They look pretty awful. So, it should be fairly easy. There's only 16 of them. Why? I want to be fighting all of them. That's kind of annoying, actually. I wanted, like, every single one of them bandits to be in the battle. But alas, that's not going to be... I'm actually going to kind of have to sit out on this one as well. Mainly because I have like, no health. But we'll charge up. Oh, there they are. They're actually going to cross the river. What idiots. Let's form up here, then. Let's hold position on me. Ow. Okay, we're really going to have to fall back now. Surprised one of them managed to make that, that shot. So, you know, I'm actually going to make a tactical decision and tell my, my infantry just to hold position back here behind the behind the mountain. Let them come to me because I don't want to I don't want to lose because They're just going to sit there and just shoot me to death. So let's go ahead and hide behind the mountain or the hill. It's hardly a mountain. Hide behind the hill and let them come to me because I'm I'm pretty low. I've already got an arrow in my chest, which is never good. Um, of course I don't want to retreat. Yeah, let's tell my men to fall back. We've had enough boys, don't worry. My archers are slowly coming back as well. They actually, they actually travelled across that water very quickly. Infantry charge. Let's get them, boys. I didn't realise how quickly they'd get over there. Go get them, boys. Oh, we could have had, like, a really epic battle, like the Battle of the Trident when we were fighting in one of the rivers. That could have been pretty cool to watch. I'd smash him, Rhaegar Targaryen's chest in with a warhammer. That'd be epic. The only thing I have to worry about here is getting shot of an arrow. If I get shot of an arrow, I'm dead, obviously. But we can do some nice slices to hopefully reduce a bit a few casualties. Beautiful. Sliced his face in half. And there's just a dude down here who should not last a second. Lovely. I bet you have some men left. Hopefully there's no one like glitched out, that'd be annoying. Let me have a look quickly. Okay, they have one man in the river. This, I guess because it's really shallow, it doesn't actually slow you down that much. And you can still get across this fairly easy, actually. Yeah, this isn't actually hard at all to get across. So it would have been really cool to actually fight in the river. Next time we get this map and there's a decent battle, we're definitely going to make sure we, we fight in it. Like, even just forming up here would be epic. So yeah, we killed them bandits fairly easy. I need to rest, so we need to hurry up. We need to carry on going to Winterfell and rest for a little bit just because I'm so low. Uh, that's never a good idea. So let's obviously just take the important stuff, which I could actually sell for a fair amount of money, and then just continue my way on to Winterfell. I've actually caught us. Um, we will fight to the end. It's only 16 of them again. Um, we, we lose, like, so many men. So I guess I just kind of have to take command. Even though these battles are annoying to fight. Oh, this shit, I click it again. Damn. I look like I'm just losing really good men for no reason. Like, I want to fight. Charge, change command, no. Oh, we can just leave. That's convenient. Like, we're just losing men for no reason. Like, good men. Why can't I fight? This is annoying, what? Okay, we managed to beat them, but I'm not quite sure. I guess because I'm too low or something? I guess. 